So welcome back to our next tutorial in which we'll be discussing the next operation. So now just to show you a different method in our, let's pretend in our shop, we do not have a half inch drill. We are, our biggest drill is three eighths of an inch because our employees didn't tell us that they're out of drills. Well, that never happens, does it? Anyways, let's move on here. So uh, pretend we do not have a half inch drill. We are going to go to our 2D path and we're gonna select bore. So we actually have a quarter inch end mill and that's gonna be the same end mill that we're gonna finish our part with. So let's go milling tools, flat end mill, and we're gonna pick our quarter inch end mill here. Great, it's not long enough, but we'll adjust that later. So for our geometry, again, let's pick that, select same diameter and look what we have here. We've got a boring operation. It does a helix from the top all the way down to the bottom. We're gonna change our height. Instead of whole bottom, we're gonna go right through it. Let's go minus 50 thou. And you can see that it will actually go all the way through our part there. Perfect. Let's go to passes. We can leave, let's leave some stock there, radial stock at five thou for a finishing pass. Very good. Linking, let's leave that there. Great, so we just have to adjust our tool so that it is long enough. Let's go edit tool, cutter. We're just going to change this again, one and a half, one and a quarter, and one and a quarter. There we go. Okay, so our graphics will change. Everything will update. Great. So now we actually have to finish the outer profile and finish these holes as well, the half inch holes. So click on the top right of your screen to watch the next tutorial. See you then.